what's up everyone and welcome back to my channel so i am filming again in my living room because literally my living room has like the best lighting in my entire house and i just realized that i am matched in my mom's couch covers but it's fine <laughs> so today's video i'm going to be answering your guys's questions about school related stuff because school just started and i start next week monday I asked you guys on my instagram like questions to ask me on a bunch of things and i got a bunch of responses i'm gonna try to respond to like oh I'm gonna try to respond to like all of them, but if I can't then I'm super sorry If you guys are new and you guys do not know who I am. What's up guys? My name is Ashley Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, but if you guys aren't new then welcome back Okay, let's get started So the first question that I was asked is from crystal underscore V she asked a little TMI but periods cause um, a little TMI, but I haven't gotten my period yet, and I'm kind of scared. I was really scared, too. I actually got mine when I was in 7th grade. My sisters actually got theirs when they were in 8th. So, it, like, like what I said, it all depends on, like, the person's body and when your menstrual cycle feels like coming. My, like, advice to you is to... It may seem scary at first, but as long as you're prepared and you guys... And you have things for when the time does come, then you should be totally fine. By that, I mean, like, carry, like, extra pads or just bring a pad in your backpack just in case you do get it. Because for me, I know this is, like, going too into depth, but I actually got mine when I was, uh, like, in dance practice. And I was like, what the hell is that? And I was so scared that I called my dad and I didn't have any pads on me because I went to dance practice thinking that I wasn't going to get it that day. But it happens to be that I got it. Um like my first ever time ever so i was freaking out and i didn't know what to do and my dad is a guy so he was like i don't really know let me just call your mom so uh we called my mom and then she brought pads to the dance studio but yeah and then ever since then i feel like when it's when i know it's that time of the month already i just bring extra like pads and tampons in my bag and my purse is just so I am prepared. I know I have viewers that are guys and I'm sorry if that was a little bit too much information but it's realistic and it's what the girls go through so sorry. I know that thought of getting your period soon is kind of scary and trust me I was scared um, as well and I'm pretty sure a bunch of girls were scared when they were gonna get it their first time but I think the only scary part about periods is when you get the symptoms so like for me I get really bad migraines and I get backaches and I just hate that some girls get cramps I don't get cramps but I know a lot of people who do and I heard it's like the worst thing ever. So, so my advice to you is just be prepared. Okay, next question is from Anastasia Ardizi. Ardiz, I don't really know, but that's how. Um, she said, how do I make more friends? So I feel like this is a topic that a lot of people, doesn't matter what age range you're in. Honestly, the way I make friends is... I don't beg people to become my friend. If we click, then we click. That's how I know we're going to be good friends. Also, like, don't be stuck up, especially if you're going into a new school and you don't really know anybody. Um, just be yourself. You don't want to be someone fake and someone that you're not because then people are going to find out later that that's not who you truly are and they're not going to like that. Um, so just be true to yourself. Be who you are. There's going to be so much people in the world and so much people that you're going to encounter that might not like you for who you are but there's also going to be a huge chunk of people who will so who cares about the people that don't like you don't pay attention to them and that's my only advice about how to make friends and also just just communicate i feel like um if you want to become friends with somebody i feel like a small conversation be like hi my name is da -da 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 -da, and just start the conversation going um but don't force friendships if that makes sense yeah underscore curly haired freak underscore said what are cute back to school outfits i would show you right now but i can make a back to school outfit video if you guys want me to let me know if you guys want to see that but i can tell you some places that you can get 
cute back to school stuff. So for me, I would just shop at like um, Forever 21, mainly like online. So like Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo. Um, there's more, but I can't think of them in the top of my head. But those are a bunch of places. But if you're also trying to look for affordable places, you could go to TJ Maxx has some cute, really cute things. Ross, um, thrifting, if you always go thrift shopping. I know in the mainland, there's a lot of good thrift stores there. But here in Hawaii, we just have like Goodwill and Savers. So there's not that much things that we could choose from. But still, thrifting, you could find a lot of good stuff for really low prices. So I hope that helps. <laughs> Next question is from Maya Girls Z. Why KK? <laughs> um, she has advice and tips on how to make the cheer team. So I actually wasn't on the cheer team in high school. I was in, I did cheer when I was in elementary, but that was like super easy to get into because they like took anybody. It was all about school spirit, and if your parents signed you up and they said yes that you could join, then that's basically how I made the team. But in college, so for my freshman or no, my sophomore year in college, I actually joined the UH dance team. It's not a cheer team, but it's kind of similar in a way, but totally different actually. We don't do stunts like the cheerleaders. I wish I could, but I cannot. Um, if you ask me to back handspring or back tuck, I would probably fall on my face. I can't tell you advice or tips on how to make the cheer team, but I can let you guys know how I got in or how I made the team. Um, for the UH Rainbow Warriors dance team. That was the most nerve-wracking audition that I have ever, ever done. Because if you guys know, um, I've been dancing like hip-hop for my entire life, and I haven't really done anything besides street dance. So I just wanted to step out of my comfort zone and join a dance team, and I did the one here at UH. Let me just tell you, it was the best time of my life joining that team i if i had as much time as i did before i would honestly go back and audition and do it again but anyway let me just stop rambling i'm just having great like flashbacks and it was good times good times i made like some of my best friends on those teams and it was just great my advice and tips i don't know how the cheer process is at where you're trying to get into or how it is in different states and different cheer teams but for my dance team what we had to do was we had a day of auditions and they were it was a super long audition i was there from like seven in the morning till like 5 p.m so what the process was was kind of went in registered we put our numbers on um, our clothes so that way the judges know what number we are and we had to learn I don't remember how many routines but we learned we had to learn a cheer routine like a palm routine and then we had to learn a jazz routine we had to do across the floors and we also had to do we learned a hip-hop routine and then we also had an interview process so it was super nerve-wracking for me because I haven't like I've never ever auditioned for something like that before and I've never done anything like that before so it was like new to me just have confidence when going into an audition don't be too overly confident so you want to have confidence um, you also want to go in there with an like, open mind you don't want to think that you're better than everybody um, and just make friends. I feel like the audition and the process of trying to get into a cheer or dance team will go a lot smoother if you have friends along the side with you. Um, also, if you have an interview section, just be yourself. Just answer it like how just how you would answer it, not what they want to hear, but what you think make you a good candidate on the team. I got another um, question from Neva HMCF on how to make new friends. And by the way, I love you so much. I love you too. Um, but I answered that question, so yeah. Okay, next question is from, I don't know how to pronounce this, but her username is over here. And it's Cress Vian underscore. I think that's what it is. She asks, how do you not procrastinate? Whew, this is a hard question to answer because I procrastinate a whole lot. Um, I'll try to give you my best advice as I can on how I try not to procrastinate. But let me just tell you, I'm a huge procrastinator and I need to like stop. Literally in anything. When it is when it comes from like filming videos to school, everything. I 
procrastinate so much for school like when it comes to like homework assignments or um, studying for a test or working on a project I just want to make sure that I'll get the best outcome that I can and by doing that I just need to start earlier than later and you'll kind of realize that and you'll learn from your mistakes you'll see that you won't get the best outcome or the best grade or the best score that you wanted when you procrastinate some people are really good at getting good scores and grades when they procrastinate but me i'm not like that so just try to stay motivated if your guys's goal is to get good grades you just have to keep reminding yourself like okay hey look i want good grades so i'm not gonna wait till the last minute to start on my homework or i'm not gonna wait till the last minute to start studying for a test because let me just tell you when you just wait till the last minute to start studying for a test it's hard to process so much information in your head when it comes to the day of the test it's super duper hard to remember anything and like your brain will feel fried i got a lot of tips on making new friends i mean a lot of questions on making new friends so i'm gonna skip that okay next question um underscore ruby lariz underscore again i think this is the last question because a lot of people have this like similar questions that they asked me um she asked what advice for when some of your friends are fake when you're in high school especially in high school and even like through college and i feel like your entire life you're going to experience people who will be super close to you in the beginning and then later down the road you guys may get into an argument or you guys may find out that you guys have like dislikes or you guys just don't work out as friends and there's gonna be some people who are just fake to you but you just have to move on from it my advice to you is you'll find out and you'll realize who your true friends are and you'll also understand who's also becoming your friend just because they want to know things about you if i deal with fake friends or let, let me let me just say people that i don't really trust or click with anymore i just honestly i just get rid of them before it used to be like in the beginning of it when i found out like i had a bunch of friends that would talk about me behind my back or would choose sides with people just because one person doesn't like me, they'll follow along and not like me as well. I learned to just let go of those toxic people because if you keep them on your shoulder, then that's going to weigh you down from succeeding in life and doing even better. Um, honestly, people will talk about you and people will like have hate on literally anything and everything that you do because... There's some people in the world who just love to see people fail and it sucks and honestly it really hurt me beginning when I was going through it but now honestly I don't care. <laughs> I know that there's you and Lee have like friends and I also have my family who like support me 100% who will always be there for me and I know that I can trust. Whereas there are going to be people who are going to try to get close to you and they're going to seem like they like you but in reality, they really don't. So just be careful who you trust and make new friends. There are so many people in this world that if a group of friends leave you or they turn out to not be the best group of friends, leave them and then just make new friends because why would you want to hold on to those toxic people? Last question um, are from A.Kaylee. She asked, what are good ways to study for a huge exam? So basically when I know that an exam is coming up, I kind of plan out my days from leading up to my exam. An example is I have this huge nursing entrance exam that I have to take um, in the beginning of September. But I actually just started studying in the beginning of August, no, in the ending of July actually. What I've been doing is I bought all the study material that I needed. If you have the study material or like if your professor or your teacher gives you a study guide then you guys can go based off of that. So what I do is I try to study like sections by sections every day for maybe about one to two hours a day. I feel like if you try to cram everything coming up to the day of the exam, it's a lot harder for your brain to retain everything that you are trying to memorize because there's so much information. I also do like, I write down in my planner what topics we're gonna study that day. I also highlight keywords or bold points that i think might be important for me to remember another way to study is make sure you're in a quiet area i like to study in like the library or go to starbucks starbucks isn't really that quiet but it's in that 
study vibe area surrounding compared to if i were to study in my room i get very sidetracked that concludes my back to school q a video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope the answers that i gave you guys made sense or they're helpful because Sometimes I just ramble and I just keep talking and I feel like I'm not even answering the question But I really tried my best um, Let me know if you guys like these back to school videos Yeah, other than that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys haven't already Also give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoy going back to school Okay, other than that, I will see you guys all in my next video Have a wonderful day and peace out, Girl Scout <laughs> so